here we are at the UMass Sunwheel right next to McGurk Stadium for a portion of the show this week. Hey, each week off the field there are dozens of people literally that make sure everything is in tip-top shape for the team as they get set for the game. We sent our cameras with longtime equipment manager Paul Byes and his staff as they got ready for a Friday night before a game. Let's see what we captured. It's behind the scenes with Paul Byes and the UMass equipment staff. Hello everyone, my name is Paul Bice, I'm the equipment manager for the University of Massachusetts football team. You're here in our locker with some of my men. We're actually, it's a ritual we do every Friday here. As you can see, Joe here is taking and uh, checking all the hardware, making sure all the strapping is on right, checking for any uh, defects in the face mask, as well as any cracks or anything in the helmet. Also checking to make sure that they have air in their helmet, it's very important. Further over here, we take and we wipe, we wipe up the helmets. As you see here, where he's taking all the marring, all the scarring off the helmets. Um, this is a thing I've done for 16 years. Um, it, we take a lot of pride in the way our helmets look. We'll also take the uh, shoulder pads and we'll go through these also. Make sure all the strapping is uh, not ripped or torn. The buckles will be able to hook up and properly. Make sure there's no cracks. Uh, make sure all the strap, the belts, and we'll also spray these with a disinfectant. Right now I run with about seven uh, students. I use all uh, student uh, managers. I have one young lady that helps me with all my internal stuff, all my paperwork, my computer work. I'm setting up the uniforms. She'll check the uniforms, make sure that if there are any rips or tears after a game, we'll go through that and she'll take and uh, mark it and I'll have it professionally sewed. Some of the schools, I, I don't know if they do it to this caliber, but this is, to me, is a very essential part that's done so that we don't have any problems on the field during game time. It'll take us anywhere between an hour, hour and a half to physically go through every helmet. Like I said, to check all the hardware, to check the decals, to make sure that the, the helmet is in perfect condition for this athlete on the day of the game. Uh, here in the locker room uh, with the game balls, as you can see, it's uh, the Wilson 1005. Uh, we also put the breast cancer awareness uh, ribbon on them. Um, as you can see, we, uh, there's a process that we use in the beginning uh, of cleaning the ball, taking all the sheen off of it. Um, there's a special chemical we ball, it's called dressing the ball, and we will take in vigorously, take in, wipe them down, and buff them like that getting the texture back to the ball. With game balls, it's depending on the weather condition. If uh, tomorrow's supposed to be 59 degrees and partly cloudy, so we'll probably go with uh, 14 balls. Uh, if it's inclement weather, we could go with up to 18, up to 24 balls, hoping that the officials rotate them in properly every quarter or so. Um, this is what we use to, uh, to dress the balls. It's a leather protector. It actually brings the uh, pigment out of the ball so for, the, uh, for our QB to get a better grip of the ball itself. Again, I, I'd like to thank you. I hope this helped give you a little insight of what we do here. We work behind the, uh, behind the scenes. Uh, a lot of what we do goes unrecognized, but it's a very essential part of making sure the boys look professional. And that's what my team and that's what we're all about here at University of Massachusetts. Thank you.